Okay. Good morning, everyone. I apologize for the sun situation. Um, so, today I am officially seven weeks post-op. Let me just introduce myself, if you are new. So, my name is Anna. I am 22 years old. I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, which is a type of weight loss surgery, on December 12th, 2017. My highest weight was in April 2017. I was 287.6, and day of surgery, I was 260.4. And so today, I weighed in at 232.8. So that's a 44.8 pound loss from the highest weight, or I'm sorry, 54, 54.8 pound loss from the very highest weight, so almost 55 pounds, and then since surgery, it's like 27.6, I want to say, um, since surgery, so yeah, those are my stats, and then a weekly weight loss from last week to this week, I only lost 2.2 pounds, really bumpy, it's crazy, um, I only lost 2.2 pounds the past week. However, um, I'm kind of like, I'm, I've come to terms with it um, because I got my period this week. So we'll just jump right into it. So last week I um, had some spotting and I do know that it's common for your period to kind of be like, all over the place after surgery, not consistent. Um, it's just like a lot of, you know, your body is going through changes. So I figured, I thought that last week when I spotted that that was like, that was my period for the month. And I was unfortunately mistaken. Um, on Sunday, I was driving back from the mall with my friend and I was like, wow, my back really hurts. And then when I got home, the red floodgates had opened so and unfortunately this is my second period after surgery I don't know if you guys watch all my videos or what but um, my first period after surgery I went to the hospital because my cramps were that bad and this uh, this period although they weren't that like bad enough to go to the hospital they were still excruciating and I've never had an issue with my period before or with like intense cramps like that. I've always kind of just had like a mild period. So for my sisters out there who have grown up with these excruciating symptoms, I feel for you. Like seriously on Sunday, I had like one of those big bags of hot water like on my stomach. I was on Tylenol. I was like, oh my God, it was terrible. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the first thing. And then, um, school and work are, like, they're going. Um, I went to all five workout classes last week, as well as I went to Charter Fitness on Saturday. So, that's, I worked out four days last week, because the five classes are over a three-day period. Um, so, I did that, and then... Um, what else? What else? I ate pretty well all last week. Like, I didn't really have any, like, cheat meals. Um, I do have to be better with, like, eating in a shorter amount of time so that I don't eat as much, if that makes sense. Like, I really space out my meals, and I think that's just something I need to get better at. Like, I should just give myself 20 minutes, eat till I'm full during that 20 minutes, and then, you know, oh god, it's bumpy, um, but yeah, and then give it, <laughs> this is so bad, like, this is why I'm not a YouTuber, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I love when people don't use their turn signals, don't you, um, and then school, school-wise, I should say, I have been, um, kind of like getting into the groove of like things I should bring so like in the morning in the morning I have been doing 
a double shot of espresso over ice, and then I add a protein shake. So that's actually what I'm going to do right now because um, I'm going to school. <laughs> and then I'll bring something that I can eat during my lunch break that is a non-perishable that won't warm up, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, like, today I brought, um, the Enlightened Bean Chips. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. And then, uh, also I brought, like, a protein bar. So, yeah. Oh, and then the last thing to update you guys on is on Sunday I did do a little shopping, which I know I said I wasn't going to, but, um, I feel like everything I, all the clothing that I got is justifiable, and, um, so I got a new pair of jeans, which I'm wearing right now, they are Torrid Premium Denim, uh, size 16, because a lot of my jeans that don't have holes in them don't fit right, like, they're kind of, like, loosey-goosey, so I got a pair of just, like, plain denim jeans and then I got a pair of black jeans that don't have oh god the sun a pair of black jeans that don't have any holes um and they don't fit yet they're size 14s um but they will fit soon like I can tell they I could get them up my legs it was just like my waist and I bought them specifically to wear to work um because the work pants I have now are getting extremely big and I feel like by the time they're too big to wear then those pants will fit so I got that I got two pairs of workout pants um, that are like really nice and tight and like tummy controlling and then I also got two sports bras and so the reason I got like two of everything is because Tord was having a buy one clearance item get to free sale so I spent like 85 bucks but um for Tord that's like really good and the quality at their store is like top of the line I would say so I was excited I was especially excited that I was buying like 16s and then I bought the 14 and then both of the workout pants were one was a one, size one, and one was a size zero, which before, <laughs> yeah, fucking right, I would have been like a two or a three because my butt is so big, and, um, the, like, jeans-wise, I probably would have been like a 20 to even like a 22, um, so I'm excited about all of that, and I'm so close to the two 20s, I can literally taste it. Like, I'm 232.8, and, like, I think my goal is going to be to get under 230 by next week. And I know that's an aggressive goal, but, like, I think I can do it, guys. Like, I am pretty determined. So, I would love to see the 220s by next week. And, yeah, I guess that is it for week seven. Um, if there's anything specific guys want to see let me know but I am whooping into Starbucks now so I'm going to let y'all go